Hello everyone, I'd like to spend a few minutes today and show you a couple ways you can access the content of a change action as a SolidWorks designer. The first is directly from inside SolidWorks itself via the My Session panel. I can access a number of applications including the Change Execution app and that gives me access to any change actions that are assigned specifically to me. I can choose one of these apps system opens it up into the session and then I can get to all the content related to that particular uh, change action. From here I can just simply locate what I want to work on in the changes and say open it with SolidWorks. The system then opens it into the session as I would expect. However, it's made an additional uh, change to the environment when it does this in the fact that since it knows I'm in the change action if I go back and uh, let's refit the window here, but if we return to the My Session panel, the fact is it's now working under the change action. And we can see that down here at the bottom. If I say work under, the system shows me the active change action, which is recording all the changes that I'm making from this point forward on this particular uh, design. So first thing I might want to do is from My Session, I could uh, tell the system I want to choose a different revision. Uh, maybe the latest, but in this case, I'll ask it to explicitly choose the revision B of this design. The system will refresh the cache and the session with that new design. And now I'm ready to really go to work. You can see that new, that uh, revision B is in work here. I'll highlight it so that I can find it in the feature tree quickly. And then I can go to work. Probably going to edit in place and then continue on from there into the design. Another way to access the information of a change action is directly in the browser itself through the dashboard. Here I can load the same application, the change execution, see the same realized changes, and dive right into it. But before I do that, let's look at some other value since we are on the uh, full dashboard. We can access more information about the change action. For example, maybe we want to see what's behind it, like an issue, and drag that into another panel where we may have an issue management or issue 3D review application that we can load it into. Here we can explore a little deeper into the underpinnings of this particular change action. Here I'm just exploring it in issue 3D review. I can uh, mouse over the various parts. I could even say, well, not just ones assigned to me today, but all the change action owned to me that I may be dealing with. I can see there's a number of other changes to this machine that they want. Uh, we're going to be making some changes to some flanges and so forth. So I can drill into any of these. Of course, I can also through issue management app, I can also see all the other related information here that's involved resolved by including resolve items in this case I don't have any but if someone had, 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 who defined the issue wanted to they could have assigned a resolution item for it I can also see any attachments that are involved in this particular uh, issue which were also passed forward to the change action and I can drill into all that information and preview it and and such right here directly on the dashboard so the dashboard just gives me a, a richer uh, environment to do some visual um, reviews of information. I can also access that change action from here and open it directly from inside the issue uh, on my dashboard as well as opposed to going back to the change execution app I was in on another tab in the dashboard just to save time. So here I see the same change action again looks pretty much just like I saw it before when I was looking at it in my session. So I have the same exact choices. I can say open with the SolidWorks connector, just as I did directly inside the My Session panel. The system brings SolidWorks to the forefront and loads the information as we saw before. And as before, if I fit this to the window and we uh, go to the design, we can see it's it's active under the change action. And this time I'll replace and just say use latest revision and not look for an explicit one. And the system will go ahead, replaces revision just as we saw before, in this case with revision B, which is in work. From here, I can do just as I did before and continue working on the part. I hope this was useful information and uh, this helps you in your design work in the future. Thank you.